Emergency Preparedness Level 1 Short Car Trips You always want to have a small cage such as a cat carrier on hand for short trips like to the vet. I have sewn two pieces of fleece to a dish towel as a liner. It's soft and it absorbs urine. I usually place a small toilet paper roll stuffed with hay inside. It gives them something to nibble on and also keeps them from being bored. I also bring along a small water bottle. Don't attach it to the cage during the trip. The motion of the car will make it leak. You can offer it to your pet at the destination or bring a friend along to offer it to them periodically during the drive. Level 2. Short-term evacuations. If you need to leave your home for a few hours or even for a day or two, it's best to be prepared in advance. I have purchased several small cages, one for each animal. This one is a rabbit cage from PetSmart and costs about $35. It's small, but I can fit several of them into the back of my SUV. The important thing is that no animal is ever left behind. Have everything you need set up and ready to go, so that all you have to add is food and water and hay. Level 3. Long-Term Evacuations If you live in an area prone to hurricanes, tornadoes, or earthquakes, and you know there is a possibility that you will be evacuated for longer than 24 hours, keep your daily supplies close at hand and in easily transportable containers. Have everything you may need in stackable bins to make it easier to shove them into the car and go. Pellets, litter, and even medical supplies should be organized and easy to reach. Having a plan in place for emergencies can save you time and more importantly, save lives. Remember, prior planning prevents poor performance.